This is for the um, the open NASA data set. So this is free public data that NASA has uh, maintains, um, and it's especially useful for solving our challenges. Uh, so I'm going to see if we can get this working. All right. So open NASA API. So there's a portal. All right. Well, I usually do. I just Google open NASA APIs. And again, so for the weekend, we're going to have mentors available all weekend in person and online. So if you have any questions, uh, we'll have data knots, which are uh, people who have gone, Annalisa can actually talk more about this since she went through the program. Uh, data knots are, uh, I forget what, what her phrase is, it's like data scientists for ast astronauts who explore data science or data sets instead of the universe or something like that. Uh, it's uh, you go to uh, do this program at NASA and you basically learn how to work with NASA data sets. Oh, perfect. Thank you. I know, right? Um, you get to learn how to work with uh, NASA data sets. Um, to explore data sets and uh, find new ways to interact with it, to extract meaning from it. Uh, and so what we, we specifically use it for building applications. Now, the Space Apps Challenge is more than just a software engineering competition. You can build hardware. There's several, ro several robotics um, challenges here. Uh, it could be, I think they're also looking for like poems and art and other stuff, which uh, it, it's it's new for for me. So I'm we're still looking for mentors and one, we're trying to see how that's going to pan out this year, so we can get mentors for next year. But uh, what most people do are web apps, uh, and so this is great for if you have web, mobile, any kind of software that re relies on some sort of uh, uh, NASA space data set. This is a great resource for you. So you go to uh, api.nasa.gov. Uh, this is a really comprehensive uh, quick start guide. Uh, for anyone who's used APIs before, it's very straightforward. You come in, you create a token, uh, you authenticate, and you could start using the docs. Um, for everyone who's not familiar with APIs, what I just said is uh, you come here, you have to generate a token. A token basically is a way for the platform to know who you are. So you give them your credentials, uh, you sign in, and they give you back a token. It's a long string of random numbers and characters, and you save that, and every time you save it in your application, every time your application talks to the data set, you bring this token with you so the data set knows, hey, this is Joe, he's asking for this data, I'm cool, he's, he's not like a hacker, he's not... He's not someone that we haven't vetted before. Um, or if something weird goes on, we can tie it back to one specific person. Uh, so you create this API key by going right here, get your, uh, I'm not sure if you can see this. Go to get your API key. NASA portal, again, getting started. What, what are you doing? There we go, this API portal. Yeah, it jumped me for some reason. There we go. Okay, it's confusing me. Yeah, just uh, first name, last name, email. Um, this is just like they want notes on how you're going to use this stuff uh, just for their purposes. Uh, you sign up, and that's about it. I think there may be an email for confirmation or something, but they give you back a token. And um, throughout the docs, it'll just say, insert your token here. That's all you got to do. Um, so once you have your token, uh, we'll skip authentication if you have questions because that, that can get complicated. If you have questions about authentication, if you happen to use an API that requires authentication, so some data sets are large or require a lot of computing power, I make a request for some data and they need to spend some time and re resources to resolve that request. Uh, they sometimes request an additional layer of authentication just so they don't get what's called um, DOS or DDoS, distributed attacks, where you can uh, have a lot of machines go in and hit this one data set at once, and then all of a sudden it takes down all their computers because they just can't handle the load. So authentication is another layer of uh, security on top of that. Um, it's, it's like a one-time thing. You set it up, you don't have to worry about it. So again, if you have an application that requires an API that uses auth, we can take care of that over the weekend. The interesting thing, which you guys should all start looking at, uh, go, familiar with the, go familiarize yourselves with the challenges, but then come back here and check out the API docs. Here we go. Getting started. That's a data portal. So we did get your API key, overview, and then API. Scroll down. Oops. It's this one right here.
It's been a while since I saw this website. They changed everything on me. Okay, cool. So this is like this is the fun part. This is where you can come, this is where you can come in and view uh, you know data catalog. Uh, these are all different data sources um, that have different uh, different ways to interact with them. So you get some like charts. Uh, there are tags down here, so Earth Science would be a big one um, if your challenge is related to um, tracking hurricanes or something. I'm trying to remember. All of the challenges over the past years have been kind of mungling my head. So if you're uh, doing something like that, then you can come here and check on oceans. Um, no results. Great. Uh, so <laughs> so, oh, wait, you know, it's because they're additive filters, so let me pop some of these off. There are no Earth Science ocean charts. Apparently. Okay, here we go. So you come in here, you could search for whatever. I would start with um, using it kind of like Google where you're drilling, you browsing around and then you drill down into specifically what you want. Um, this is one one way where you can really get the benefit of a mentor, someone who's worked with his data sets before. Um, NASA is not Google. Um, their indexing is not as good. So uh, it really helps if you know what you're looking for ahead of time. Uh, you just pop in here. Cool, what's this? Uh, it tells you a little bit about this data set. Um, it gives you, uh, no, we don't want that one, view data. There's a visualization also if you want to uh, play with it. Uh, it's a way to, this is why you don't do live demos, <laughs> which is ironic for Hackathon, right? Um, let me go and visualize, create visualization, open. So. There we go. So these are ways where you can. Would you, it was there, right? Okay. All right, so I'm picking all the wrong data sets. But you guys get the idea. There are different <laughs> options for you to come in and say, here's, here's a data set that is related, for instance, um, uh, past data on, uh, or here we go, so ocean currents. I'm still stuck in the marine biology theme right now. Uh, there's a data set on ocean currents that NASA provides and maintains. Uh, if I'm working on a, uh, on a challenge that tracks oil spills or hurricanes across the ocean or how global warming over the years has affected, that kind of thing, uh, data sets on ocean currents would be a good place to start. And then you could see visual, you can visualize the data and see how you can incorporate that into your challenge. Uh, there are API docs in here, like this guy. Here we go. Here's the API endpoint. And they have documentation somewhere. They have, this is the endpoint you get, but uh, basically what this means is this is the location for this data. And then there's documentation in here. Sorry, I should have found it. Uh, where it tells you, here's how you interact with this API. Um, again, we're going to be online all weekend if you have specific questions about this. But with these few pages, you should be able to get 80 to 90% of everything you need. Anything else will have uh, people available for other data sets that aren't listed here. But this is a really good canonical source for all the main data sets you're going to need for the hackathon. Um, so with that, um, that's my brief intro into the uh, Open NASA data sets. Here we go. Like this one of the Open NASA, this is a separate organization in NASA that maintains this. Uh, this is a way where you can come in and say, I'm a citizen activist or I'm a developer, so let's curate your experience on this website to you and your expertise. Um, I think most of us are going to be going to developer, and it shows you specifically, hey, look, space apps, specifically what um, you can use specifically what you can use in terms of API docs to interact with this data.